Okay, so I thought we were fishing today. I kind of gave up on the skiing thing. Let's see what this kid has. Woo! All right, skiing's kind of cool. Let's keep doing this. All right, we're driving to the car. No shirt on. It's so freaking warm out here. Look at this. A ton of snow and not. Like, this is wicked. I thought there was going to be nothing. We got two inches of rain yesterday, and Blue Mountain is still ripping park laps. So... Today is our day to freaking send it. Sand Van Fishing's leading the way, and we're on it. We're gonna do some park labs, do some skiing, and then finish the day off trout fishing the streams that we just passed over. Awesome, pristine looking water, and I just wanna get immersed in that environment. But first off, get immersed in this. It's gonna be so gnarly. Oh my gosh. Spring skiing at its finest. Yoo! Dude, yeah, look that, at that. That used to be a... That Ga used, gap the creek. I'm not doing that right now. I don't want to hurt myself because it's so flat. But this used to I be might a do it. kicker right here. Okay. Gap the creek. Yeah, do it. Yo, are you coming to this side or that side? Last day of the ski season, first day of the trout fishing season. We were ripping park laps for the rest of the day. Skied for about four and a half, five hours, and then I headed out to the trout spot. It was such a blast. Oh Had a few slams, but oh we were still God, freaking dude. ripping it the whole day. Sing it out. Step from the road to the sea to the sky. And I do we rely on. But I let on come get Sand Van fishing coming in for the three. Woo! Yeah! He got it. It was like a 320. But we'll call it a 360. Oh, dude, so close. What the? Yeah. That's all. All right, let's go. Sam just got the biggest nut shot ever. Redemption. Woo! Just finished up a wicked day of skiing with Sam Bang. One with the fish. You heard it right here. If you're not eating seaweed, you're not a true angler. On my way to fish, just had an epic day skiing. And of course, I'm munching on my favorite snack. Organic seaweed. So good. You guys got to try it. But in the meantime, let's start getting on our way to catch some big trout. Today, in this second part of the video, I'm gonna be dropping tips for how you can catch more stock trout and just have overall more successful days out there on the water when you're trout fishing. This is early spring, the best time to go trout fishing, and there are a lot of hatches going, a lot of bait being pumped into the rivers. We got snow, what am I talking about? We got rain last night, about an inch of rain, so the creeks are high, but they're still relatively clear. You wanna have stained water, but not too stained. So I'd say like six to 12 inches of visibility is optimal, and if you can get clearer flows you'll still catch them but definitely that more tinted water is what you want during the spring let's catch them put the skis away got the ultralight this is the kind of day i like we're doing it all just gonna fish this trout stream over here wrapping up the last day of the ski season with the ultralight in my hand was definitely the best way to do it the flows were high in the rivers conditions were looking perfect and i made it down to the spot so i want to break down to you guys spring trout fishing tips 
If I could recommend three lures to throw during the spring, it would be a little jig with either a tube or power bait worm, a spoon like a Phoebe or a Castmaster, and an inline spinner. These fish are usually in the middle part of the water column, but there are still some fish that are on the bottom, still in winter feeding mode. So they're a little bit slower moving at times, especially early season. But the more rain we get and the warmer it gets, the more the trout are gonna feed and the more food that's gonna be being pumped into the creek. So on a day like today, when I'm fishing with high flows, it's important to realize that there's a lot of bait being pumped into the river. Insects, worms, and the bait fish are gonna be moving around a lot more. High flows in the spring means that the water's gonna warm up because the rain coming down is a little bit warmer than the creek temperatures. So the fish are gonna become way more active. So with that being said, when I make it down to the river, I start casting out with whatever lure I kind of think might work. And that's totally dependent on the spot how it looks. This spot didn't have that much visibility. So I was like, all right, ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna throw a jig, bounce along the bottom, look for those fish that are just kind of cruising along, looking for whatever baits coming down on the bottom part of the water column. Also fish right outside the current sometimes. If you got high flows and the current's ripping, the fish are probably right outside the current line, just sitting there either on the bottom or a little bit staged up off the bottom looking for the bait fish that can't make it in the current and kind of come to the side. So that's also an important tactic to take forward as well is that when you're working your bait, you want to work it pretty slow because you're not trying to make it look like one of those really active bait fish that's going to get away from the fish. You want to make it look like a wounded bait fish or a worm that's going to be easily eaten by the trout and kind of slowly flutter in front of them. Later in the season though, I mean, you can, you can get away with a faster presentation, but right now, early season trout fishing, you want to work it slow and really figure out what's going to get you a bite. And then once you get a bite, keep sticking with that. Don't be afraid to switch it up. And my biggest tip to you guys for spring trout fishing is really get immersed in whatever environment you're fishing and really get in the moment because it's not about the time of year fishing. Like, yeah, trout act overall pretty similar during the spring, but it's very dependent spot to spot what's the main forage in the river. So if I'm fishing a super clear river with no bugs, I'm gonna be catching my fish on spinners and spoons because the fish are feeding on bait fish. On the other hand, if I'm fishing a river that's a little bit murkier with more bugs and things being pumped from outside the river system when the rain comes in, like this spot I was fishing, then I'm gonna have better luck with the power bait worm, just like you saw in this video. So it's super dependent spot to spot. Also, whatever forage is present in the river. So each time you go out trout fishing, have an open mind, go out there with all the lures you might need and just be versatile in your sport. Make sure you don't get too caught up in your head about, all right, I need to be throwing this because this is the only thing that's gonna work. Anything could work at any time with trout fishing. That's one of the biggest takeaways. And also the more you explore and the more water you cover, the better. So don't just sit at one pool the whole entire day. If you know there's a big fish there, it's a different story. So keep moving, keep on trying different lures. And once you find something to stick with it, trout like to key onto one presentation. And you gotta figure that out day by day, but that's the most rewarding part about the sport. And that's what me and my buddy Eric always talk about. Anytime we're giving people trout tips, it's you find the one presentation they're keying onto for the day, now you found it. So that's kind of like the mystery of the day that you have to solve. Each time you go out there, you're solving your own mystery about what bait to use, how to work it, how to get bites, and then continue it on throughout the day, and you'll probably catch most of the trout that are feeding in that sort of way, which is cool. So today was an awesome day. Caught a lot of fish after wrapping up the ski season. What a way to do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of whatever you're doing. I'm sitting out here in my backyard in my little outdoor studio. I'm promoting the positivity of this. So even if you're going out for a hike or just getting out of work and kind of carrying your day forward, keep on just with that positive mental attitude. Never in the send. See you guys next time. Yeah.